Welcome back to some more Baldur's Gate 3. Anyway, let's play. Looking at something. How did you know it was there? The only benefit to a mirror when you have my condition. It doesn't quite make up for the lack of a reflection, mind you. Do you miss it? Seeing your own face? Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. What color were they before? I... I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. Staring through his eyes. What? I see you. I'll be your mirror. What do you want to know? I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What do you see? Strong, piercing eyes. Your mole definitely grabs your attention. I see someone wasting my time. <laughs> okay, we won't take that option though. Strong, piercing eyes. Oh, go on. Is uh, a dangerous smile. Very good. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. Karlak is beautiful. You're fine, though. How dare you? I thought we had something special. Still, you're nice, too. I better get some beauty sleep. It seems I need it if I'm to catch up with the competition. I don't think we have any exclamation points with anyone here. We do have a new companion now called Halson. Got him in the previous episode if you don't know how to get him. Watch it. Oakfather's blessings to you. Uh, let's go, just go through his dialogue here. I have to ask, how do you know much? Yeah, I'm just going to go with one every time, guys. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Hopefully. I've chosen a successor as first druid. Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. I need her to stay focused on her training. The Grove will need a skilled healer in my absence. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise, but the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Precious little, but I'm quite certain it can still be found. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse, just as you find a cure for your infection.
Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Perhaps, but we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Seromorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. Miss it? <laughs> oh dear, no. It's a terrible burden. Takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. That I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, first-hand. If there's anything here I can help do to make you less comfortable, let me know. Are you kidding me? Like, why is this first option? Got a caught up in the moment. I keep coming across them everywhere. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch, thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. Another celebration uh, with the tiefling before. I hope I didn't come over too strong. Got caught up in the moment. <clears throat> there are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. You would have done the same? Perhaps. But best to not dwell on nights past. There are plenty more yet to come. Come on, man. Don't leave me in suspense. How are you feeling? No errant tentacles? No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet. I'm feeling great. Tadpoles give us the advantage. Wonderful. Advantages are a more precious commodity than I'd have hoped, given the nature of our predicament. I commend you on your willingness to take such a risk. Now, let's hope your new illithid fuel prowess tipped the balance suitably in our favor. Was there another matter you wish to discuss? I want to break up. Okay, so now we're just gonna do our long rest here. And we're not gonna give any any uh, food here. It increases your hit points and spell slots. We already did that, so we're just gonna do a uh, partial rest. It seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. Lead the way. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Only if you show me a nip. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of missing it. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? To friendship. <laughs> Where is the uh, to Karlak option to us? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. 
to us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Um, I'm surprised you cared. Share a little memory uh, from growing up in Baldur's Gate. Persuasion check. You first. I think that's great. A 15? I don't know if it's needed to save, but... Where's my guidance? I still have the necklace on. <gasps> okay, we have it. Barely. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things... They're lost to me right now. Perhaps. But please, enough about me. Sharing's bad for my complexion. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Tonight we sleep drunk. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. What a remarkably uncomfortable kiss laying like that, dude. That didn't hurt, did it? Why would it hurt? A little tickle. I'd like to think that would have happened anyway. Let's head back, if we must. So the two lovers I want is Shadowheart and Karlak. Come here, bitch. I mean, baby. As well, I hope. Of course, unless something is the matter. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked and kissed. You like my finger in your nose, huh? <laughs> I can't recall the last time I shared so much with someone. Maybe I never did before. It meant a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. And that was before the kiss. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Very serious of you, but go ahead. I'm going to save you before saying this. Even if I could remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. I don't want your ego to get overinflated. I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence.
Okay, anything else here that we can do? So far, it doesn't look like it. Let's talk to Karlak again. Oh, hi. Hmm. Sad. I couldn't let myself feel sad in the hells. Letting my guard down would have been a death sentence. And letting, say, a cambion near me would have been disastrous. I thought it best to just to keep my distance. But loneliness that deep gets into the marrow. Now that I'm here, among friends, I can feel it burning out of me, little by little, step by step. It's pretty much the same stuff. So let's go to the night again, long rest. I know, guys, we're, we're, do oh, what? We're doing, we're doing this the whole time. Yankee Relic, I will have an explanation, or your head. Walk away, now. I won't warn you again. Uh, okay, so let me just explain why we're doing it this way. Um, normally if you play the game, this would happen across, like, the whole game as you play it. The thing is, we only have a certain amount of soul stones. In order to make the most benefit out of it, you want to get your sleeps as close together as possible and just spam it uh, until there's no more story, if that makes sense. And that's why we're doing this. Uh, it's because of the soul stones. They are very rare and hard to come by, uh, especially later in the game. So it's just better for us to like compile all of them together at the same time. What's going on? Why are you two arguing? Nozel thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear lies. She carries an heirloom of my people. I must know why. Stop this. No sense in fighting each other. I agree, Shadowheart. The artifact is protecting. I agree, Shadowheart. It's protecting us now. Rest, both of you. Tempers will be cooler in the morning. No, stop this. I'm gonna just save you. It's, I, dude, I don't know what answer to take. I know we have to do a persuasion check, but I don't know how to get there. Incorrect. Judicious bloodletting settles feuds and roots out the weak, the deceitful. Do you hear this, tripe? Our lives are at stake and she wants us to turn on each other. No others. Just you and me. I agree with Shadow. I have to agree with someone? How do we settle this? The bad blood must be purged. A jewel come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. Get some rest, Lazelle. You'll need it. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. Persuasion check. You don't have to do this. Okay, save here. Available bonuses. We use all. Higher we couldn't roll. Critical success. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Corporate Lazal, for your own sake. We need her, shout out. Give her a chance. Can I do that, Lazal? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But 
Imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Goodness, dude. That's some intense stuff right there. Lazala UK? Speak. You're going to share a, a, your bunk with Will? You said you, you're going to share your bunk with Will. So I did. And he wanted only to talk. You both lack imagination. Eye to eye with bliss, and you choose banality in its stead. About your quarrel? It is over where I am concerned. What a relief. We won't survive if we don't stand together. Can I trust that you don't won't cause any more trouble? Dude, we have to do so many checks with her. She's hostile as hell. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. Have you thought about making the use of the tadpole power? I'm going to save here because she might disapprove. Mark my words. This power would be no blessing but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. Uh, let's do the persuasion check here. It's a 20 roll, Bambri. That's a... Uh... <laughs> good luck with that, Bambri. I mean, first try, dude. <laughs> I'm too good at video games, bro. Get on my level. No, that's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlakith will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. We have to persuade her again? Absolute is dangerous. We should take all the help we can get. An 18 roll. Watch me fail this one now. Oh. It's gonna be close. Uh, not so not so close. <laughs> Let's roll again. Nice. Too good at video games, my brief. You... You might be right. The Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zaythisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The Tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the Parasite's powers. Talk to Shadow Hearts because she was just in a conflict. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? What happened with you and Lazal? We aren't dear friends now, if that's what you're asking. But I trust we can all sleep a little more soundly in camp now. I'll keep an eye on both of you. I don't want a fight happening again. Relax. We'll kiss and make up on our own time. Someone prodding at a newly opened wound doesn't help matters. Very serious of you. But go ahead. How are you faring? Now, let's just turn the matters. No. Let's talk to Karlak again. She must have heard me and <laughs> me and Shadowheart. Very glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics.
Okay, let's sleep. We have to do it again, guys. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. We're just sleeping the game over right now. We still have to get the dog to bring us stuff. We still need to get the owl, owl bear also to come. You recognize the feathered creature. It's the owlbear cup you rescued. <laughs> so, save here. It's an animal handling check. We have to roll a 10 and I can't use guidance. I don't know why I can't, dude. There we go. The cub tilts his head. He does not trust you. Yet. Uh, fetch him a piece of food from the bag. The cub's eyes lock onto the food in your hand. Keep the food held in front of you. Eat the food. <laughs> Keep it in your hand in front of you. He takes a hesitant step toward you. His beak chittering hungrily. Oh my gods! Look at his little beak! Oh, come here, you doll! Alarmed by your companion's approach, the cub flees into the forest. Damn it! You scared it off! Poor little beaky fella. Hope he finds his way back. <laughs> well, that just happened. And we have to rest again. No one we can talk to. Wait, wait, wait. There's a ball. Hmm, I'll take that. Okay. Uh, show the latest throw ball. So it looks like he did it with car uh, with with him instead of us. We'll just throw it again. Uh, slot of hand, distract him and grab the ball. Animal, encourage him to drop the ball. Wrestle him with the ball. <laughs> Minus one, plus one. Slot of hand. I wonder why I can use guidance now, but I couldn't do it in the previous roll. Relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. Okay, it's time for our long rest again. The cub pecks at a crimson splash on his leg. Wave your hands and scare him away. No, no. I'm animal handling here. He's hurt. 
We can attack him as well. Are you stupid? So we're going to cure the pit now. Hopefully we can. <laughs> Nailed it. The cub looks at you with glistening eyes. With a sad hoot, he holds out his paw, revealing a wound. So, medicine check is the better option here, but you can also do nature to inspect. Need to roll again at hand, dude. Nice. As the wound closes, the cub begins testing his weight on the leg. I love him so much! Okay, long rest. And we have to do one more rest. I believe it's one more. More inspiration gain, more experience. No, it's, it's another rest after this. Oh no, it's only one, I think. So hurry in towards the sound. Call to them. Observe, look for any signs of injury. Nothing. Both animals look fine. Call to them. The scr uh, scratch, pet scratch. Uh, pet the all bear. And this should give you an achievement. Animal handling. Everything is alright. Let's try that. It should only be... Uh, yeah, it should be easy, but let's see. Oh, <laughs> nailed it, dude. Scratch's tail wags furiously. These two have become firm friends. Nothing. Both animals look fine, watching you expectantly. Okay. Well, that's the final rest we need. Holy, dude. How many rests was that in a row? Goodness. That was a lot. That was a lot. Uh, we're gonna travel somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, we're gonna travel to uh, my conic colony right now in the Underdark. Oh man, my internet just went off, so I don't know if I can actually do this efficiently. I might have to edit some videos, to be honest. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Yeah. I've never seen a hoblin like you before. Mm. So I never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? 
Honestly, I'm kind of lost down here. A mind flare infected me with a tadpole. So number two. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Geich, your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. One of my brethren forced a tadpole into your eye. Or ear, perhaps. But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance, not the colonies of my people. Okay. Wouldn't a uh, apprentice us fighting here? I'll listen. Fool! They infest your head and invade your dreams, and still you would parley. I ask only that you refrain from violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be charged. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Relax. Let him in. As the Meloan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. What happens when the stasis goes away? I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Can you extract the, the tadpole? No, it appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. It doesn't sound ideal. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. About the strange mind flare uh, ship you were on? A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Thanks for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A 
tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. Even though this doesn't sound like a great idea. Lovely. So where do I find these mushrooms? The Underdark, of course. Although they are quite rare. And their discovery, perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Actually missed here. What they were saying. Uh, would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? Uh, where does the uh, Lenore live? The southwest when I last saw her. Although her tower does have a tendency to move. How is it even possible? She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. Even though this doesn't sound like a great idea. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. All right, I'll come back when I have uh, found these mushrooms. Your travels be safe and swift. So now that I don't have internet, I don't think we can record much more. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? So we want to trade with him. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. So we're going to buy the finger. This one right here. Hills Giant Finger. Uh, because this is a uh, ingredient that's going to make the elixir heal giant strength. Which is what we have here. By the way, right click on this and give to Karlak. He's the only one that could, that's going to use them, most probably. So we're going to just buy this. And we'll sell, obviously, the rings. The whispering masks as well. And we're not going to use that on any other character, I think. In what? Insane insanity kiss. Looks like it just carries weight. <laughs> so do it like this. Balance offer. And Bowter. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalog. So yeah, guys, I can't see more because my uh, internet's not working right now. So I'll record stuff that I know how to play. This is 100%. So if we mess up something, we have to load back. Difficult. And I don't want to do that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, smash that like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.